everybody Brickhouse here and you can put this one in the I didn't see that one coming category but um over the last I don't know 20 25 years there's been a a rush to Eliminate Native American imagery and names from sports teams. High school level, college, professional, doesn't make any difference. We've seen the, well, recently the Cleveland Indians are now the Cleveland Guardians. Washington Redskins turned into the Washington Commanders. I know the North Dakota Fighting Sioux have changed their name. Really popular hockey. Just saying. Um, St. John's Redmen became the Red Storm. Uh, University of Ohio. Not Ohio State. University of Ohio. They were called the... I believe they were called the Red Men then became the Red Hawks. A um, little closer to home, University of Illinois Fighting Illini. They had Chief Illini Wick as their, um, I'm not going to call him a mascot, because he was not a mascot. He was retired in 2005 because of the NCAA. Now, what all these things have in common is not, and I'm going to say this again, is not because Native American people are the ones calling for these boycotts, these name changes. It's a bunch of white liberal progressives who have nothing to do with their time but to be perpetually offended by everything they're the ones who pressure these teams these organizations to change their name because they're offensive but when you pull native american peoples for the most part the majority don't think they're offensive to be the cleveland indians Chief Illini Wick as the uh, symbol, the official symbol of the University of Illinois. Why do you think the Florida State Seminoles are still the Seminoles? Because the Seminole ma Nation supports it. Of course, with a little donation from the university, but I digress. So to see this one come was quite a surprise. Native American group threatens boycott if Washington commanders don't change name back to Redskins. Say what? A group of Native Americans is threatening to boycott the Washington commanders unless they change their name back to the Washington Redskins. The Native American Guardians Association, NAGA, posted a meme to its ex-Twitter account with the message to educate not eradicate and wants the team to go back to its original name i bet the white liberals are kind of po'd right now this was on their x or twitter or whatever you want to call it native american guardians association founder and president eunice davidson sent a demand letter today to the washington commander's ownership and key leadership formally requesting the team to revitalize its relationship with the American Indian community and rightfully change the name to Redskins. <gasps> the group, led by founder Eunice Davidson, sent a letter, which I just read uh, from their ex-account, 
The letter blasted the team for engaging in cancel culture by dumping its more than 90-year-old name and said that by getting rid of the name, they are eradicating Native American culture. The group says it aims to highlight the steadfast role in American history, including serving as counselors to the Founding Fathers in the creation of the United States Constitution. The letter also recounts that the team has been close to the Native American community since all the way back in 1933 when it was originally the Boston Redskins. Hey, you liberals out there who keep saying that we need to change these names of teams from Indians, Redskins, Redmen, Redhawks, Fighting Sioux. I got two words for you. Piss off. It's not for you to decide. At this moment in history, we are formally requesting that the team revitalize its relationship with the American Indian community, Indian community by changing the name back to the Redskins, which recognizes Americans' original inhabitants and using the team's historic name and legacy to encourage Americans to learn about, not cancel, the history of Americans' tribes and our role in the founding of this great nation. Should we need to encourage a national boycott similar to what happened with Anheuser-Busch, which is now down $27 billion? No. Not one brick thrown. Not one highway blocked. Not one bridge burned. We will do just that, the letter continued. The letter also warned that it would stand its ground because if you don't acknowledge history, we are doomed to repeat it. Hey, hey, you guys with short attention spans? Yeah, you, you should look into that um, phrase. Very important. The Redskins officially changed its name to the Commanders in February 2022 after suffering years of condemnation by left-wing advocacy groups for using the Native American name and imagery. Yeah, there are a bunch of white dudes. And I'm talking about you, Peter King. The group also protests or also posted a tweet slamming the state of New York for steadily erasing the Native American based names of high school sports teams. Not only high school teams, but college teams too. So there you have it, folks. Native Americans, as I stated at the beginning of this video, and you can fact check me if you want, but this goes back 20, 25, 30 years. Native Americans aren't opposed to the name, image, and likeness of Native American symbols, Native American names used in sports franchises across this country. Again, it's a bunch of white dudes that have nothing nothing better to do there on, on their hands but to be hand hand wringing and and offended by something that has nothing to do with their heritage so i'll leave it to you the audience comment down below tell me what you think and why you're at it please take the time to smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already hit the notification bell to get notified when my content becomes available here on youtube and as always thanks for watching and i will see you later Oh, 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 oh,